Juliana was engrossed in her routine at the hospital when she noticed an unexpected development with one of her patients, Lillian, who had been in a coma for over a year, as she tended to Lillian's bedside, the tranquility of the sunlit room contrasted with the sudden shake of the notepad in Lillian's hand, startled, Juliana's heart raced, witnessing this inexplicable event reacting swiftly, Juliana called for Dr. Richard, her voice fraught with urgency, the atmosphere in the hospital shifted. From calm to apprehensive as news of the potential awakening of a coma patient spread among the staff, Dr. Richard, equally bewildered, resolved to conduct thorough tests to comprehend the anomaly, throughout the examination, Juliana remained vigilant, her concern for Lillian's well-being evident, yet, amidst the medical perplexity, Juliana observed another remarkable occurrence. The subtle changes in Lillian's facial expressions, this unexpected behavior confounded the medical team, challenging. Their understanding of coma patients' capabilities despite the incongruity between Lillian's observed responses and the expected neurological activity, the medical team remained determined to uncover the truth, Juliana, in particular, was astounded by the enigmatic signs displayed by Lillian, prompting her to question the limits of medical knowledge as they delved deeper into Lillian's case. The medical team grappled with the inexplicable phenomena, each revelation pushing the boundaries of comprehension. In the midst of uncertainty, Juliana's unwavering dedication to Lillian's care remained steadfast, driven by a desire to decipher the mysteries hidden within the subtle shifts of consciousness. The medical team was puzzled by the inexplicable occurrences surrounding Lillian, Despite test results suggesting unconsciousness, her reactions contradicted them, Dr. Richard, maintaining composure, agreed to try communicating directly with Lillian, as Juliana spoke to her, Lillian's face. Subtly responded, hinting at a deeper consciousness motivated by these developments, the team intensified their investigation, seeking additional signs of Lillian's awareness, each day, Juliana visited Lillian, providing companionship in her mysterious solitude, Lillian's past remained shrouded in mystery, discovered lying injured on a desolate road, her identity unknown to anyone but the name, Lillian. On a sticker, as days turned into weeks, Lillian's enigmatic condition persisted, defying conventional medical explanations, despite the lack of progress in her recovery, Juliana remained a steadfast presence, offering solace in the midst of uncertainty, the unanswered questions surrounding Lillian's past only added to the intrigue of her silent existence. Juliana empathized with Lillian's plight, yearning to aid in her recovery and uncover the truth behind her condition. Despite inconclusive test results, the medical team persisted in their investigation, driven by both professional duty and personal curiosity. Juliana, increasingly resolute, viewed it as a personal mission to solve the mystery and potentially restore Lillian's life as days passed, Lillian's movements became more pronounced, particularly her subtle attempts to grasp an imaginary pen, though initially met with skepticism from Dr. Richard, Juliana persisted in her efforts, in a moment of quiet determination. She discreetly provided Lillian with a pen and encouraged her to write, initially, Lillian's scribbles. Yielded little clarity, but Juliana remained undeterred, continuing the daily practice in secret, eventually, Lillian managed to scribble down a series of numbers, followed by the letters N and E, perplexed, the medical team realized these could be coordinates upon further investigation, they discovered the coordinates pointed to a remote forest area, sensing the urgency of the situation. The doctors alerted the police, detailing Lillian's condition and the coordinates she had provided. Before the police could investigate, Lillian managed to scrawl a half-formed word, careful, intrigued and cautious, the officers ventured to the coordinates, after an exhaustive search, they stumbled upon a concealed entrance to an underground clinic, hidden beneath the overgrowth of the forest, inside, they found an abandoned and dilapidated facility, shrouded in mystery and neglect. The discovery deepened the intrigue surrounding Lillian's past, raising more questions than answers, despite the uncertainty, Juliana remained steadfast in her determination to help Lillian reclaim her identity and uncover the truth buried within the depths of the forgotten clinic. As the rusty doors creaked open, the desolation of the place became evident, the air was thick with an oppressive heaviness as the police cautiously advanced into the dimly lit corridors, reporting their discoveries to headquarters. They described the scene of abandonment and decay they encountered, stretchers and surgical tools. Lay scattered on the floor, 
Remnants of a bygone era, the atmosphere grew increasingly eerie as the officers navigated through empty rooms and dark passageways, dust coated every surface, and the scent of mold lingered in the air, rusty dentist chairs and broken cupboards hinted at a sinister past, sending shivers down their spines, their suspicions heightened when they stumbled upon a door secured with multiple locks and heavy chains. Before they could breach it, a figure emerged from the shadows, initiating a violent confrontation, Despite the struggle, the police managed to subdue the mysterious assailant, further intensifying the intrigue surrounding the locked door with the suspect in custody, the officers proceeded cautiously to unlock the door, bracing themselves for whatever lay beyond, as they pushed it open, darkness engulfed the room, prompting them to illuminate it with their flashlights. What they beheld left them speechless, confronting them with a sight so shocking. That it defied description, expressions of bewilderment and horror painted the faces of the police officers as they beheld the unimaginable sight before them, in a dim corner of the room, huddled together in fear, were a teenage girl and a young boy, no more than five years old, approaching cautiously, the officers sought to offer reassurance amidst the palpable tension, it's all right now, we're here to help. One of the officers assured gently, his voice trembling with emotion, despite their trauma, the siblings allowed themselves to be rescued, their wary gazes fixed upon the officers, emerging from the darkness of the bunker into the sunlight, the young boy recoiled in fear, his sister comforting him tenderly, the condition of the siblings was distressingly apparent as they were brought into the open, malnourished and visibly mistreated, their frail forms bore the scars of their ordeal, the officers, hearts heavy with empathy, wasted no time in escorting them to the hospital. Desperate for answers, upon arrival, the medical staff, led by Juliana, greeted them with compassion and care, as the siblings received treatment, their gratitude was evident in the girl's whispered words of thanks, Juliana's smile offered reassurance, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness that had engulfed their lives as the police continued their investigation. The discovery of the siblings added another layer of complexity to the case, yet, amidst the uncertainty, Juliana couldn't shake them. Feeling that Lillian held the key to unraveling the mystery, little did she know, the truth would unveil a harrowing tale of abduction and captivity, a story of resilience and survival that defied belief, unbeknownst to the criminal, Vanessa was pregnant when she was abducted, Ian came into the world within the confines of that grim dungeon, never experiencing the warmth of sunlight, for five long years. They endured unimaginable suffering, their only respite from darkness being the dim light. When the man would open the door, the family endured unspeakable horrors and moments of agonizing despair. When Luna, now 15, was targeted by the kidnapper, Vanessa fought fiercely to protect her daughter, in a desperate struggle, Vanessa was inadvertently pushed out of the room, the door ceiling shut behind her, despite being badly injured, Vanessa managed to escape, only to be struck by a hit-and-run driver, discovered by Max, Vanessa was brought to the hospital in a coma. Mistaken for a woman named Lillian due to a sticker placed on her by the kidnapper, meanwhile, Luna displayed the same courage. As her mother, thwarting the kidnapper's advances, frustrated, he continued to keep them imprisoned while searching for Lillian in a remarkable turn of events, Vanessa's spirit seemed to linger near the hospital, desperate to protect her children, eventually, she found a way to communicate through subtle movements, leading to the revelation of their whereabouts tragically. Vanessa's mission reached its conclusion as she passed away, leaving her children behind, a few days later, they were reunited with their father, who had tirelessly searched for them, the emotional reunion marked the beginning of a new chapter for the family, as they faced life's challenges together, guided by Vanessa's memory and legacy of love, though their journey had been marked by loss and hardship, Vanessa's spirit lived on in their hearts, illuminating their path toward a brighter future, next. Let's enjoy a story that is similar to this one together, a wealthy businessman named Sidney returned home one day to find his heart sinking at the sight before him, as he entered his daughter Karina's room, he approached her bedside with a mixture of love and worry, tenderly, he kissed her forehead and whispered, I'm off to work, my love, I'll be back later so we can spend some time together, okay, Karina managed a weak smile, but a cough racked her frail frame staining the handkerchief she used to cover her mouth with a worrying streak of blood, Sidney's heart clenched with fear as he knew too well. What this meant, the cystic fibrosis that afflicted his daughter was taking its toll, with a heavy heart, he left her room, trying to suppress his tears, meanwhile, 
his mother remained at home, caring for her granddaughter, her concern palpable. As Sidney stepped out of his house, he was greeted by a cold and rainy day, the gray sky mirroring the sadness and anxiety that weighed on him. Despite being a successful businessman in the pharmaceutical sector, Sidney couldn't shake the image of his daughter coughing up blood from his mind, throughout the day, he found it impossible to focus on work, constantly checking his phone for updates on Karina's condition, Sidney's journey in life had been marred by tragedy, his wife Clara had passed away in a tragic accident, leaving him to raise their young daughter alone, consumed by grief, Sidney buried himself in work, while Karina struggled emotionally. Then came the devastating diagnosis of cystic fibrosis, plunging their once joyful home into a silent despair. Despite his wealth and access to top-notch medical care, Sidney felt powerless as his daughter's health continued to deteriorate, the once lively household now felt suffocated by the weight of Karina's illness, desperate for a respite, Sidney decided to take a walk during lunchtime, hoping to clear his mind as he stepped out into the drizzle. Sidney's attention was drawn to a teenage girl sitting on the wet sidewalk, looking utterly lost and forlorn, driven by an inexplicable urge to help, he approached her and offered his umbrella, the girl, grateful for the kindness, shyly thanked him, noticing the sadness etched on his face, moved by a strange sense of connection, Sidney found a momentary solace in this unexpected encounter amidst his turmoil opening up to the girl, Sidney shared the heavy burden of his daughter's terminal illness, Angelina listened intently, displaying a level of empathy and understanding that belied her youth, curious about her. Presence on the rain-soaked sidewalk, Sidney learned of Angelina's homelessness, her vulnerability laid bare by a rumbling stomach, in a gesture of kindness, Sidney invited her to a nearby restaurant, sensing a connection between her and his daughter Karina. Over lunch, Angelina introduced herself, revealing her homelessness and tragic loss of her parents, Sidney, moved by her plight, made her an unexpected proposition, acknowledging her sincerity and resilience, he offered Angelina a chance to befriend Karina, providing her with shelter, a salary, and a new start in life, tentative yet hopeful, Angelina accepted, drawn to Sidney's genuine concern and the promise of stability, returning home, Sidney welcomed Angelina with open arms, ushering her into their spacious mansion, despite initial skepticism from Sidney's mother, Mrs., Mary, Angelina's warmth and charisma quickly won her over. Sidney explained the situation, emphasizing Angelina's potential as a friend to Karina and her need. For temporary refuge assured of her son's compassion, Mrs., Mary embraced the unconventional arrangement, recognizing Sidney's noble intentions, showing Angelina to her new room, Sidney ensured her comfort, while Mrs., Mary provided her with clean clothes and a hot shower, grateful for their hospitality, Angelina embarked on this unexpected journey, hopeful for a brighter future and the warmth of her newfound home, Mrs., Mary couldn't help but notice how Angelina seemed to effortlessly brighten. Every room she entered, as Angelina grew more at ease, Sidney decided it was time for her to meet Karina, knocking gently on his daughter's door, Sidney introduced Angelina as a friend who would be staying with them for a few days, with shy smiles and awkward glances exchanged, Sidney left them alone, hoping they would forge a bond, the days passed, and the once somber atmosphere of the house transformed into one filled with laughter and joy. Mrs., Mary, listening in from the hallway, felt relief wash over her as she observed her granddaughter finally opening up to someone her own age, however, strange occurrences began to unfold after Angelina's arrival, one afternoon, Mrs., Mary watched in astonishment as wilted flowers revived and bloomed anew under Angelina's touch in the garden, perplexed, she questioned Angelina, who simply remarked on the wonders of nature before continuing on her way, another incident left Mrs., Mary bewildered when she witnessed Angelina's mere touch relieving, Karina's persistent cough instantly, unable to comprehend these events, Mrs., Mary shared her observations with Sidney each evening, leaving him intrigued and confused. One night, Sidney broached the subject with Karina, sitting by her bedside, expressing his concerns gently, he asked about her thoughts on Angelina's influence, to Sidney's surprise. Karina spoke of Angelina's remarkable energy and how it made her feel better and happier, deciding to seek medical advice, Sidney arranged for doctors. To examine Karina, 
their astonishment mirrored his own as they witnessed Karina's remarkable improvement, though unable to explain the phenomenon, they acknowledged the inexplicable positive change in her health as the doctors left, Sydney and Mrs. Mary sat in the living room, pondering the mysterious events, though they couldn't fully grasp the how or why, they found solace in Karina's improving condition, grateful for Angelina's enigmatic presence and the newfound hope she brought to their home, I know it's strange, mom, said Sydney, but if Angelina is helping Karina get better, I don't want to question it, what matters is that our girl is happy and feeling better, Mrs., Mary nodded in agreement, expressing her gratitude for Angelina's presence and the positive impact she had on Karina's health as the girls continued to bond and enjoy their time together. The family chose to embrace the mysterious circumstances surrounding Angelina's abilities, finding solace in the miracle. Unfolding before them, Karina's health improved each day, and they were all thankful for the light and hope Angelina brought into their home. However, the inexplicable events didn't cease, one morning, as Sidney prepared to leave for work, Angelina approached him with urgency, pleading for him to take a different route, despite his initial confusion, Sidney trusted Angelina's intuition and followed her advice as Sidney drove along the alternative route, he couldn't shake off the feeling of curiosity and unease, his thoughts raced, wondering why Angelina had insisted on the change, upon arriving at work, he learned of a catastrophic accident that had occurred on his usual route, a building collapse causing devastation and chaos, Sidney was shaken, realizing that Angelina's foresight had potentially saved his life, throughout the day, Sidney's mind was consumed by thoughts of Angelina and her mysterious knowledge, anxious to understand more, he hurried home, eager to confront her about the extraordinary events arriving home. Sidney overheard a conversation between Angelina and Karina, Angelina's comforting words to Karina. Revealed a depth of understanding and empathy that touched Sidney deeply, he listened intently, learning of Karina's struggle with mobility due to her illness, a fact that weighed heavily on Sidney's heart as he leaned closer to the door, Sidney felt a surge of gratitude for Angelina's presence in their lives, realizing that her influence extended far beyond her miraculous abilities, with newfound admiration and respect. Sidney resolved to uncover the truth behind Angelina's extraordinary intuition and to express his gratitude for her unwavering support and compassion, I understand, Karina, but I'm here now, and I'll help you believe in yourself, please try, insisted Angelina, her voice trembling with encouragement, Karina sighed deeply and, with a shaky voice, agreed to try, Angelina approached her, holding her hands and offering words of support, as Karina focused and began to move her legs, Sidney opened the door and froze at the miraculous sight before him, Mrs., Mary, tears, brimming in her eyes, embraced her granddaughter tightly, overwhelmed with emotion at seeing Karina stand up, Angelina stepped back, allowing the family to share their joyous moment, Karina, still feeling a bit unsteady, grasped her grandmother's hands and expressed her disbelief and gratitude, Sidney, unable to contain his emotions, hugged his daughter tightly, tears streaming down his face, he turned to Angelina, expressing profound gratitude for the miracle she had facilitated in Karina's life, with humility, Angelina replied, I just wanted to help, Mr., Sidney, seeing my friend happy and healthy is all I want, the family shared hugs and tears, filled with joy and relief at Karina's newfound mobility, however, their elation was short-lived as they realized Angelina was nowhere to be found, panic set in as they searched the mansion for Angelina, calling out her name to no avail, Karina suggested checking the surveillance cameras to trace her whereabouts, as they reviewed the footage, they were stunned to discover that Angelina had never appeared on the recordings, in disbelief, Sidney and Mrs. Mary recalled their interactions with Angelina, now questioning their reality, Karina, though shaken, expressed gratitude for the happiness and hope Angelina had brought into their lives, despite the unanswered questions surrounding Angelina's existence. The family resolved to cherish her memory with love and gratitude when doctors conducted further tests on Karina, they were. Astonished to find her fully healed, unable to explain the miraculous recovery, though the mystery of Angelina remained unsolved, her mystical presence had left an indelible mark on their lives, reminding them of the extraordinary possibilities that can emerge from the most unexpected circumstances as they grappled with the inexplicable events, Sydney, Karina, and Mrs. Mary learned to embrace the magic of Angelina's influence, finding solace in the profound impact she had on their lives.
Despite her mysterious disappearance, Angelina's legacy endured as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the family, a testament to the extraordinary power of compassion and kindness. Thank you for joining us on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so you won't miss any of our next videos, we'll be back with more uplifting and inspiring stories.